Hi everybody, Adam here with a video tutorial showing you how to submit assignment number three. So when you're ready to submit the assignment, which is due for most of us on the 2nd of June by 5 o'clock, what you need to do is go into the um, EDFT 460 assignments module and go down to the section that says assignment number three. Now you'll see in there at the moment you can see four drop boxes. When you actually come to submit your assignment you'll only be able to see one, okay, because I've separated them out um, by cohort, hence why I can see them all. So what you'll need to do is click onto the drop box that you can see and we're using a system called Turnitin. So Turnitin allows you to submit your ebook file online and it also allows me to mark it online so I can post comments onto your actual ebook so it's almost like a, a, a PDF um, editing software but it's actually online on Leo and it also allows me to give you um, written feedback a little bit of audio feedback if I if I choose to and also your grade as well so it's just a slightly different process other than that there's nothing different so when you're ready to submit your assignment uh, and you've clicked onto your Dropbox, what you need to do is then go up to where it says My Submissions and click on that. And this then starts to go through the process of allowing you to upload your file. Go to Submission Type, drop down the menu, and you want to click on File Upload because you're actually uploading a file from your computer onto Leo. You can put in a, a title for your submission, so I'm just going to put in CIE framework and then it asks you to um, submit your file so you browse and this will take you to your computer you upload your file and then uh, just underneath the browse button you've got the declaration of originality so once you've read that just click in the little tick box on the left hand side and then you're ready to submit your assignment so click on add submission And once the system has uh, processed your file, now it may take a little bit of a while because the, these ebook files are probably going to be, um, some of them will probably be quite large. What it does is it, it adds your file into the Turnitin system and it will tell you here that um, you've got the name of your framework, uh, it says to you the submission successfully uploaded to Turnitin, which means it's been a successful submission. Um, and uh, that's all you need to do. There are a couple of other things on the page that, <clears throat> that may be new to you. For instance, under here where it says note, students are not able to view originality reports for this assignment. One of the purposes or one of the, the functions that Turnitin sometimes has is um, for students to upload their assignment to it and Turnitin will check to see uh, you know, the similarity between your references and references in another assignment or whether you've been citing your information properly. I'm not interested in, in using Turnitin for that purpose on this particular assignment. I will be making sure that your um, references are correct and that you've been citing things uh, in a in an in inappropriate manner. So don't worry yourself about that. All you need to be concerned about is making sure that you upload your framework into the Dropbox and that once you've gone through the process, it says status submission successfully uploaded to turn it in. You can also then go back and check, click on summary. Um, and that will just give you um, a summary telling you when it's when the start date is. So when you were meant to have, um, you could start submitting it by the due date, uh, which is the 2nd of June. Uh, the, the last time that you can submit it without the, the assignment um, uh, not being marked um, unless you've arranged for an extension um, and the total number of marks available for it. So um, that is the Turnitin process. If you've got any questions, um, let me know. But I hope you can see from that that it's actually quite an easy process.